File viruses. File viruses are one of the most common types of viruses in the computer world. Basically, they infect program files on your computer, especially executable files with exe or com extensions. The virus attaches itself to these files and becomes active when the original program is run. In other words, when you open a program, the virus is activated and starts to perform malicious actions. File viruses usually change the size of the file or corrupt the structure of the file. These viruses can spread easily via email attachments, download links, or thumb drives. To protect yourself, it is important to use up-to-date antivirus programs, avoid downloading files from unknown sources, and avoid clicking on suspicious attachments. File viruses can reduce system performance, cause data loss, and seriously disrupt the functioning of your computer. Macro viruses. Macro viruses are malicious code that runs in document-based software, especially Microsoft Office programs. Small commands called macros used in programs such as Word and Excel are written to automate the document. However, viruses that abuse this feature come hidden inside the file. As soon as you open this document, the virus becomes active and can damage your computer. Macro viruses are often spread through email attachments and replicate quickly by copying themselves into other documents. They can corrupt other files, leak information, or slow down your system. This type of virus is hard to spot because it doesn't change file size as much. To protect yourself, you should disable automatic execution of macros, only open documents from sources you trust, and use an up-to-date antivirus program. Boot viruses are dangerous viruses that infect the boot process of a computer, the boot sector. When the computer is turned on, this virus is activated before the operating system is loaded and can take control of the system. It is usually spread via USB sticks, CD or DVDs or other portable media. The virus infects the system through this media and settles in the boot partition of the hard disk. This means that the virus may already be active before antivirus software is even installed. Boot viruses can cause system crashes, data loss, and hardware malfunction. They were more common on older systems, but today, they can still be used in some specialized attacks. To protect against such viruses, it is important to turn off the boot from USB option in the BIOS or WEFI settings, not to plug unknown devices into the computer, and to keep security software up to date. Polymorphic viruses are one of the most difficult computer viruses to detect. This is because these viruses rewrite themselves each time they replicate and take on a different form. This makes it difficult for antivirus software to recognize the virus because it appears in a different disguise each time. Polymorphic viruses usually work by infecting files, but they can also spread via email attachments or fake software updates. Once active, these viruses can damage the system, steal data, or install other malware. Ordinary antivirus software may not recognize polymorphic structure because it only looks for known virus signatures. That's why it's important to use up-to-date and advanced security software. Run regular scans and avoid opening untrusted files. Stealth viruses. Stealth viruses, as the name suggests, are viruses that aim to work by hiding in computer systems. These viruses use special techniques to hide themselves from antivirus programs and the user. For example, they disguise the true state of the files they infect, making them appear clean. Thus, antivirus software cannot detect the virus and it can remain in the system for a long time. Stealth viruses can reduce system performance cause data loss or open the door for other malware. Regular updates, strong antivirus programs, and staying away from suspicious files are essential for protection. This type of virus is sneaky and hard to spot, but its effects can be serious. A worm is a malicious piece of computer software that can self-replicate and spread rapidly over networks. Worms can infect other computers on a network automatically often without the need for a file or program. They spread through email messaging applications or network vulnerabilities. Worms can consume computer resources, slowing down the system and
causing networks to crash by generating excessive data traffic. In addition, some worms can open backdoors into your computer, paving the way for other malware to infect your computer. To protect against worms, it is important to use firewalls, avoid clicking on unknown links in emails, and keep your antivirus programs up to date. Trojan Trojan viruses are one of the most insidious types of malware. They trick users and infect the computer by disguising themselves as a useful or harmless program. Trojan viruses cannot replicate on their own. Instead, the user downloads or runs them without realizing it. Once active, they can spy in the background, steal personal information, or set the stage for the installation of other malware. Trojans are often spread through email attachments, fake software, or pirated programs. To stay protected, it is important to avoid downloading files from unknown sources. Use strong antivirus programs and regularly update your system. Ransomware Ransomware or ransomware, malicious software that infects a computer system and encrypts user files, preventing access. This software demands a ransom from the user to unlock their files. Ransomware is usually spread through email attachments malicious links or fake software updates. Once infected, files are encrypted and the user is shown a warning message to pay. Paying the ransom is not a guaranteed solution, and even if you pay, your files may not come back. Therefore, it is crucial to take regular backups, use reliable antivirus programs, and avoid downloading files from unknown sources to protect yourself from ransomware. Rootkit a rootkit is a complex type of malware that runs secretly on computers and prevents malware from being detected. Rootkits hide themselves and other malicious programs by embedding themselves at the kernel level of the system. This allows them to hide from antivirus software and the user. Rootkits are usually activated in the background when the computer is infected with other malware. They are used to take control of the system, steal personal data, or make malware persistent. Rootkits are difficult to detect and clean, which is why it is so important to take security measures. Use up-to-date antivirus programs and keep system software up to date. Email. Email viruses are one of the most common ways malware is transmitted. These viruses are usually spread through email attachments or malicious links in messages. When a user opens an attachment or clicks on a link in an unknown or suspicious email, the virus infects the computer. On infected computers, email viruses can corrupt files, steal personal information, or slow down the computer. They also spread quickly by automatically sending themselves to people in the email address book. To protect yourself, it is important to avoid opening attachments in unknown or suspicious emails, use reliable antivirus programs, and enable email filters. Email viruses pose a serious threat to network security.